Welcome back to A-Gang Adventures. We start our day in Hollywood Studios and we will end our day in extra magic hours in Magic Kingdom. Let's see if Marley can make it through the day without falling asleep. Just did Rise of the Resistance. It was pretty good. Um, I wouldn't pay for it. No. For sure. But then again, uh, we're we're roller coaster people, yeah. and it was it was a theme ride. It was very well done. Mm -hmm. We're also not like super intense Star Wars buffs, so maybe yeah. if we were, we would have been like, "This is amazing." Now this is kind of a bonus day for us in Hollywood. Um, this was going to be our main day here, but we hit so much in that afternoon we spent yeah. here um, that we're just kind of riding whatever rides we like the best. Yep, and that was um, one of the ones we didn't get to do last time. So. Yeah, that was pretty much the only one we didn't get to do oh, last Haley time. Oh, Haley didn't do Tower Terror. Yeah, Tower Terror. So we're going to do yeah. Tower Terror, Rise. Uh, they were the two big ones we need yeah. to hit. We got Slinky Dog but, for Tegan again. Yeah. Marley wants to do Mickey's Railroad. Runaway. We'll see if we can get that one. Yeah, so it's kind of a chill day. We're moving uh, from Hotels. the Polynesian to Coronado. So Coronado. we'll see when we're ready to get in our room. Might take a break earlier today if they let us. Yeah, we'll um, see. Because we plan on having a long night at Magic Kingdom. The girls like that the best. Has has the most rides that they can both ride. This is probably their least favorite park, especially Marley, because there's yeah. two things she can really ride. Yeah, so but. if not, we'll watch some shows and yeah. we'll just hang out here. Since Tegan didn't want to ride Rise of the Resistance, Kira and I parents swapped it, and Mom, Dad, and Haley took Tegan and Marley over to the Aliens uh, Swirling Saucers so they could ride it. We knew they loved that because they liked it the day before. And then Kira and I just kind of walked through the Star Wars area and checked out the theming and how cool it was. They really went all out, as, like Disney always does. Um, but it was just beautiful, and the little touches were just perfect. Uh, Mom and Dad are going to go into the can cantina later, um, so hopefully that that's really cool. We're not going to take the girls in, um, but there's also this really cool bounty station here that you can run around Star Wars land and try to find your bounty. So the basics of how this works is you tap your uh, Magic Band Plus to the little uh, circle thing there that Kira's touching, and it will assign you a bounty and you'll just walk around it'll turn green as you get closer it'll red as you get further away and you can just go through trying to find your bounty and when you actually find them then you bring them back to a spot right near here it's actually to the right a little bit where you would turn them in and you get your credits it is a really neat idea um i think if we didn't have the girls it might be something we play with a little bit more uh, but we're more ride into rides, so we really wanted to just hurry up and try to finish the rides we wanted to finish. Um, so we actually canceled our bounty and moved on, but it was really neat, and it kind of gives a little extra thing for the kids that might not have as much to do in Hollywood Studios. It was also a great way to kill time before our next Genie Plus ride came available, which was Minnie and Mickey's Runaway Railway. 
Hi, Goofy! Say, help me. Is Whipple Bay for a picnic? Yep, we're off to the park. See you all there. This here Loki motive? I guess I can do that for you, Goofy. Thanks! You'll be back in a jiffy to pick you all up! Hey! Watch! Where are we? What could possibly go wrong? As soon as we scanned in for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, we hurried up and got on Genie Plus again while we were still in line, and were able to snag Hollywood's Tower of Terror, where we parent swapped that, and the adults got to ride some of the bigger rides. We still had some time before we needed to get on the Slinky Dog, so we jumped on the Rock and Roller Coaster a couple times, which is always a blast. It is by far my favorite ride in the entire park. Once we finished those, it was time for our Genie Plus at Toy Story Mania, so we got to shoot some things. As with any shooting game, Dad won, and then it was off to Slinky Dog. After Slinky Dog, we hit the Alien Saucers, and then back to Coronado Springs for a little bit of a nap before we moved over to the Magic Kingdom. One of the absolute coolest things about this ride is the map on the back wall. It's a kid's map, like they designed the roller coaster, but that's what the roller coaster actually does. Here we go! Yay!
come. The Alien Saucers is our last ride, and we promise, Marley absolutely loved this ride despite her face in this picture. See, we're at Coronado. We have to go get Your lovies will be here. They're, they'll deliver our stuff. We gotta call down. We had connecting rooms, um, but the door is connecting to the wrong room. Mom and dad are over there. So, details, we're not too worried about it. We're only here tonight. Well, two nights, but turn on some lights. Okay. No bathtub, so that could be an issue. But, very nice. No bathtubs? Nope, no bathtubs. No bathtub. We gotta get a shower. Bye. <laughs> Cause there's no bathtub. Aww. Aww. Mommy, look, they got four coffee. Should every hotel have a bathtub? Should every hotel have a bathtub, Marley? Mommy, we have four <laughs> Marley, which ride do you want to ride? Dumbo. Dumbo? Is that your favorite? Yeah. Yeah? Are you excited to go back to Magic Kingdom? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> no. You gonna take a picture of the Christmas tree with Mommy? No. No? Careful, you're going for it. No. Are you a dinosaur? Are you a dinosaur that likes going up and down? Mommy, I'm going to. I want to do that ride again. What's up? Where are we going, Marley? Dumbo! Dumbo? Dumbo! And magic carpet. Meow! Meow! Minnie Mouse? After a pretty long break, we headed back into Magic Kingdom. It was insanely busy. Like, the lines were out of control. We were able to hit some of the favorite rides like we did it's a small world where marley once again fell asleep um and then we had to find our spot for the fireworks we ended up kind of off to the side somewhere it was really busy as we said and they did enjoy them marley did not fall asleep after the fireworks we did take advantage of our extra magic hours and we went to big thunder marley did fall asleep on the way there Tegan rode it probably four or five or six times with absolutely no way and she loved it. Really good tip. If you can time getting on Big Thunder during the fireworks, it is gorgeous. Tegan wanted to end her night with one last ride on the teacups. After that, I was tired, so I took both girls back on the bus and luckily Pappy Team met us there because they both fell asleep, so he was extremely helpful. And Drew and Nanalisa stayed to enjoy the extra magic hours. Like Kara said, Mom and I uh, were able to stay after, and it was open till 1 a.m., and so we just ran through the park and hit almost everything. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, Big Thunder uh, Railroad, and then we ran over and did Space Mountain, and there were no lines for, like, any of it, and we just hit a ton of rides in a short amount of time. It was, like, 15 rides. In, in a couple hours after the fireworks. And the only thing that had a actual line was Peter Pan, uh, which we kind of skipped because we had done it earlier in the week. And then on our way out, we got to take some silly pictures with basically no one there, um, which is awesome. If you want to use the photo pass to its extreme purpose, go to the extra magic hours and just take all of the photos. There's no one there and it is beautiful and then we were the only ones on the bus back to our resort 
So it was quite a lonely, quiet, long ride, um, which it was hard not to fall asleep. And it was a great way to end our day between Hollywood Studios and Magic Kingdom. You are the man. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and tune in next time for us exploring Animal Kingdom. <laughs>